Trudeau and the Liberal Party have expelled India's diplomats from Canada due to an ongoing RCMP investigation. It turns out when it's not about his party, then he can expel them and have the RCMP take the job, no problem at all. Hello everybody, welcome to the Canadian Shield. My name is Sterling. I'm your host. I have a few opinions on this matter, but I'm going to let Justin Trudeau sort of say what he has to say first. Of course, you have to listen because if you don't listen, then you'll never be able to question the glaring inconsistency or how he's applying one set of rules to one situation and ignoring the same situation when it applies to him and the Liberal government. When he mentions foreign interference, for example, and keeping Canadians safe and happy. However, before I discuss all of that, I'm just going to let you listen to what he has to say. Because, you know, like I said, if you don't hear him say it, then you won't be able to know exactly the glaring inconsistencies. So I'll give it to you in bites. Don't worry. That agents of the government of India have engaged in and continue to engage in activities that pose a significant threat to public safety. This includes clandestine information gathering techniques coercive behavior targeting South Asian Canadians, and involvement in over a dozen threatening and violent acts, this is unacceptable. So coercive and data collection, that could describe any host of, uh, I mean, the government themselves collect data, and they're often threatening us with, uh, you know, kicked out of our own bank. I mean, there's a lot of things that the government says that every time they open their mouth, they're, they're being coercive. It could also describe, I don't know, any of a dozen terrorist countries, any of a dozen terrorist organizations. China itself has all been accused of, of all of these things. What we want to ask ourselves is, why are we doing this to India? Is this because Justin Trudeau is hoping to get some votes out of Southern Ontario? Is this because he's hoping that Jagmeet Singh and Justin Trudeau can get some votes out of British Columbia? This weekend... Canadian officials took an extraordinary step. They met with Indian officials to share RCMP evidence which concluded six agents of the government of India are persons of interest in criminal activities. Six agents of the, of the government of India are persons of interest in criminal activities. Eleven members of the, ND, of the sitting Liberal government work for foreign countries actively pursuing the interests of foreign countries inside of Canada. $400 million in slush fund that you sell yourself doesn't, the RCMP should not be permitted to investigate. 11 members of parliament that you don't want to release their names. Man, I'm not sure that this adds up. Why worry about one, but not all of it? Why not worry about the Chinese influence? Why not worry about the Winnipeg lab influence? Why are we not expelling Chinese diplomats? This is a question that we want to ask ourselves as we listen to this guy try and act like a hero. And despite repeated requests to the government of India, it has decided not to cooperate. It leads to one conclusion. It is necessary to disrupt the criminal activities that continue to pose a threat to public safety in Canada. That is why we acted because we will always, first and foremost, stand for the rights of Canadians to feel safe and secure in their own country. Unless, of course, they live in Toronto and they own a nice car, or if they want the 11 members of the parliament exposed so that we can understand where the um, foreign interference is coming from. Unless, of course, we're talking about any Canadian who wants to own their own firearm. Unless, of course, we're talking about any Canadian who wants to know where the tax slush fund has gone. Otherwise, yeah, you know, no problem. We, oh, unless you, of course, you know, are a person from a diaspora that has that is being threatened by your government all the time, say Iran, say, you know, any of a list of, a, you know, 25 countries that we could say off the top of our head that, would, that we have heard people discuss, that we have heard individuals come forward and talk about how they're being targeted in this country and the liberal government hasn't lifted a finger. I mean, the crime rates in Canada are the highest they've been in the history of mankind or in the history of this country. And the Justin Trudeau is worried about six Indian diplomats who might be doing something well let's worry about all the diplomats let's just worry about all of them let's start by worrying about the 11 politicians that are in the government that are currently being funded by according to the rcmp foreign governments let's start with those 
We will never tolerate the involvement of a foreign government. Unless, of course, it's the Liberal Party. Then you'll tolerate it all day long, it seems. As Prime Minister, it is my responsibility to provide reassurance to those who are feeling their safety has been compromised. But most importantly, it is my responsibility to take action. Oh, action, is it? Going to take action. You just said the RCMP made all of these collections. Here's a funny thing that I want everyone to look at, and I understand these media, the tricks that you have to think that they're pulling, right? So they announced this on holiday Monday, Thanksgiving Monday, where there's no children in school, so the people are distracted. Anybody who was raised Canadian is eating a big meal. There's a lot of people who are coming together for family gatherings, so they're not really paying attention to the news. However, those people that were not born in Canada, who were not raised Canadian, right, say they came here when they were you know, already adults are not necessarily going to be as invested in the holiday as others. So we have two different perceptions of the news right now. We have two different perceptions of the day. Why would the liberal government release this, 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 uh, why would they do all this on a holiday Monday? Seems a bit bizarre, doesn't it? Unless they just only want a certain specific section of the, of the culture to under, to watch it. And they want everybody else to be distracted by, you know, turkey comas and all the rest of that. Further, Justin Trudeau just came back from uh, the South Pacific where he said he had met with Prime Minister Modi. Now, I, I understand that Prime Minister Modi doesn't really have much respect for Justin Trudeau. Who can blame him? Justin Trudeau doesn't, doesn't do much to garner respect. However, it seems to me that if Justin Trudeau was doing everything that he was doing, he would be, like if he's doing everything that he claims to be doing, he would be talking to Prime Minister Modi down in the South Pacific. And he would say, listen, we got a real issue going on here. Your people are doing X, Y, Z. And I have people in Canada who have, who have tracked down, here's the receipts. But he didn't do that, right? He said, oh, me and Prime Minister Modi had a nice discussion. Then he comes back to Canada and he says on a holiday Monday, oh, we're kicking out all of the Indian diplomats, including the highest ranking diplomat right out of Ottawa. Pardon? Seems a bit extreme, Right? It seems a bit odd. I mean, let's remember, uh, Jagmeet Singh is not allowed to go into India, right? Because he's an extremist in their views, because of the things that he does. Because before he got heavy into politics, he was marching up and down the United States of America, waving the Khalistani flag. And in India, they didn't care for that. So they said, well, you're not allowed in. So how does that how does that translate into votes for the NDP in British Columbia? How does that translate to votes in Southern Ontario, where the... By all accounts, it looks like the Liberals have lost almost all of Toronto except for one or two ridings. I don't know who those people are, but they should have a stern talking. They should, like, you know, kind of get their head in gear. I suppose it's a different video. So here we have Justin Trudeau is inundated by people saying, we want the RCMP to see the Green Slush Fund. We want to know who the 11 diplomats are. We want to know what's going on with our country. We want you out. We want an election. He got his own people saying, no, we, we think it's time that we get somebody new, which I will talk about in a different video because I think that's very hypocritical to all of a sudden decide that you're going to support the Canadian people. He announces, he makes this announcement on a Monday, on a holiday Monday. He makes this announcement when he's just came back from having an opportunity to have quiet backroom talks with Prime Minister Modi. There's something about that all of this that doesn't make sense. Unless you're looking at it through a uh, politically analytical lens, then you will see that this is done to target a certain audience at a certain time of day so that they can say we're being tough on your enemy. I just think that they're, they're, it seems to me, it seems a bit bizarre to me, and I feel that the only real motivation that Justin Trudeau and the Liberal Party have for all of a sudden targeting India, but not the list of other countries that could be coming over here and, and causing trouble for their um, um, expats, as they call it, the people that have traveled to Canada from China, the people that have traveled to Canada from a dozen countries, right? Whether it be Russia, whether it be Kurdistan, or Iran, Iraq, Saudi Arabia. I mean, who the list is long of governments that may be targeting populations in other countries. And so it seems bizarre to me that one of the countries that led on paper has the clo has a very similar understanding of democracy. This would be the country that we would target. I think what needs to be said, what's important to understand is these motivations, these actions are probably driven by events that happened in 1984 in the Golden Temple and the Air India, 
the Air India bombing, as, as they call it, 1984, when all of these things transpired. And that secretly in our neighborhoods, around our towns and in our cities, we, there's a civil war going on under the surface in between one specific set of people, between one specific culture. And I should imagine that inside of that culture, there are a good 75% of them that don't want anything to do with, the, with either side. They just want to get about their day. However, the people that are interested in it are putting pressure on the politicians. And so Justin Trudeau gets this perfect opportunity to try to distract from the Green Slush Fund and the 11 people that he still has yet to name. And that he could be doing this in a desperate attempt to avoid proroguing the government because there's so many things that will go wrong for his government should he do that. He he could be doing this in a desperate attempt. I believe that this is a desperate last effort to get anybody to talk about anything other than the Green Slush Fund. I believe that using the, mentioning the RCMP was a mistake on his part because the RCMP doing a criminal investigation into foreign influence should be all over the Liberal Party and the 11 people that are absolutely named in, in the documents. The RCMP should be all over the Green Slush Fund. There should be all kinds of um, issues with our government dealing with foreign entities in any way, shape, or form. I believe that if you're doing, like I get if you're making a trade deal or something like that, but if you're taking money from another government to, to further the the uh, ends of your own uh, that country inside of your own country that to me is tantamount to, to treason and the last thing we should be worrying about is whether or not the indian government is having an argument with the calistanis that happen to be living inside of canada i'm tired of people bring, importing their wars i'm just sick and tired of it this country was founded on people who didn't want to get involved in a war that's why they left the united states of america and came to canada i suppose that's a different video Either way, I don't believe that his motivation is anywhere near as pure as he's trying to claim. I think that his motivation is strictly self-centered. I believe that it is just so that he can try to distract you from all of the um, pressures that he's feeling in Parliament right now and inside of his own party. The best thing that Canadians in Canada can do is to just sort of let's get these, uh, let's get the Liberal Party to, to call an election. Let's get this over with. Let's get all of this and get down to solving the problems in this nearly fractured country. All right, I'm going to wrap here. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you next time.